everyone welcome to my youtube channel so today in the sims we are building a pumpkin patch park and it's very simple i did cheat for the pumpkins to be blooming so when you download this lot it's already ready for you to harvest pumpkins and i did test it so it does work so i added like the cart from eco lifestyle i don't know what it's called but basically it's like a food cart i guess or a drink cart i don't know i added it to the front of this build and i did have to move it a little bit um towards the front i guess just because they have to go in from the back which obviously i did not think of i never used that object before so i wasn't thinking of like oh how did they get in but luckily that does work as well and it's a very simple it's a very small park um and for it to be a park you need a chess table and a playground equipment so i do have swings and i also obviously have a chess table i have a grill i have the pumpkin and carving stations i was thinking that could be fun um and interesting i guess and i don't know like i guess there isn't an event where you can like well, no, I don't know actually. Isn't there like an event where you can like, I guess, I don't know what it's called. Is it like a costume party? I don't know, something like that, right? Where you can like ask people to carve pumpkins. I think that could be fun for the slides. Um, but yeah, it's very simple. Honestly, I don't really have much to say about it. Um, obviously, I feel like this lot has one main purpose is just to like harvest pumpkins and carve pumpkins. Because there's only like a swing set. I did put like the crafting table for kids so they can make like autumn decorations. But that's pretty much it. And hopscotch I guess. So they have three things they could do. I also have like a fire pit and a games table. So and a chess table as I said before. So you, I guess you can use all of those things. But the main point of this park is to like get pumpkins and carve them. I don't think the carving thingy actually takes pumpkins as ingredients um which is kind of unfortunate i believe the spooky stuff pack probably came out before seasons i'm not really sure i assume i assume i don't actually know i should probably look that up um because i could be wrong but yeah i mean i would assume maybe it makes a little bit more sense if wait i said seasons oh my gosh no cottage living definitely came out after spooky stuff the only reason why i was thinking seasons is because i was thinking of trick-or-treat that's the only reason my bad i misspoke yeah spooky stuff definitely came before cottage living so it would have been nice if they could like if they would have went back and like made it or not like forced you to have ingredients but it would be nice if it was free if you did have the pumpkins but i guess i can see how that could be an issue because it's like is it any pumpkin or does it have to be like a medium-sized pumpkin because maybe a medium size is more fitting but yeah it would have been nice if you could actually have pumpkins i guess or need pumpkins Oh, I probably should have cut this part out, but I wanted the swing set to be a little bit closer to the lot or the house or not the house, but the building, I guess. And then I didn't know how to like get rid of the grid. Um, so that was trouble with tool. I think I just had to like move it again, I guess which i think the reason why i went in live mode is because i didn't have better build by so i couldn't like open the tool menu without it but yeah and also this is coming out pretty soon when i'm doing this voiceover so right now it's the 23rd this is coming out on the 25th which is kind of crazy i've been like kind of i'm not i don't want to say behind but i'm pretty much kind of like very close to recording to when i need to post which is kind of insane like yesterday you saw well no two days ago you saw me do a random townie makeover and i made that video the night before i posted it so yeah i don't know i usually or usually i would post or record two weeks in advance and then the week before i would edit it and then schedule it so that way um i guess i wouldn't have any pressure on myself to be like oh my gosh i need to get this up i don't have a video oh no and then i decided i will just do it one week ahead so i'll record and edit all in the same week and obviously i mean it's been going good so far until 
now I guess because I still have two videos I need to record for this week so yeah and I have like two videos I need to edit including this video I guess I still need to edit it I guess after I do the voiceover um but obviously that won't be too bad um just because like they're speed build so it's not that tough to edit them and yeah pretty simple I put like a grill out in the front with two umbrella tables I might just have one at the end I'm not sure because I thought it was very tight and for whatever reason the orange chairs that I wanted to use for the chess table come in this reddish brown swatch and I don't know it just wasn't matching anything like why did it have to come in that swatch like um that kind of annoys me but we're working on the bathroom the bathroom is like the most boring part to me not really fun but I will have to make it work unfortunately I guess and yeah but I had a headache which is why like I haven't had time to like record and etc because it's like I want to play my game but I have a headache and I'm just not feeling good I guess or feeling well and I just been feeling down some days you just feel down I guess and yeah um anyways so hopefully I can the two more videos that I have to record won't be that bad one of them is basically building or being inspired by a build from one object and I have so many objects in my head but for this video I believe I want to use that little nightstand from parenthood that has like this crazy colorful weird swatch that I will never probably use because I just don't find like I it just never fits so I'm gonna try to make it fit for this one build um also another thing is like that backyard bush I think I think it's from the backyard stuff pack if I'm correct but it's like this weird colorful bush like I just I don't know like I I don't know that bush is so ugly I figure I could also make a video like that trying to use that bush as well um but yeah and then the next one is well actually I don't know like do you want to hear about my videos this week or do you like being surprised because for me personally I like being surprised like obviously usually with like the youtubers I watch like if the sims announce something etc I'm like oh I know what the video today is going to be about <laughs> but I usually like being surprised um I don't know like that's the one thing I like being surprised about it's like what videos are going to be posted by um this youtuber or whatever and yeah and then i just i don't like it to be spoiled i want to be surprised but when it comes to kit leaks expansion pack leaks i'm like i just can't help myself it's i can't help it so i'm gonna try my best like even if like some of the stuff from the life and death expansion pack leak i'm gonna try to avoid it as much as possible and one way to do that is to basically not go on twitter that's pretty much it like maybe like scrolly or sweat maybe like slowly scroll and see if anything is saying anything about a leak I don't know it's just I want to be surprised and also that really sucks for like the devs who worked on it for their pack to be, to be like leaked before they get to even announce it or say anything themselves about it um but yeah this time I'm gonna try to not look at any of that stuff even even if it's gonna be hard like I'm the type of person I I don't do surprises like my mom will be like don't look on Amazon and obviously I'm gonna look because I want to know now I don't want to wait I just I can't help it it's like oh my gosh I wonder what they got and I feel like it's better for me to know or just you know instead of like thinking or overthinking and being like oh my gosh what if she got me this and then it's not that and then it's like you're sad because you had your expectations way too high um anyways yeah just <laughs> I don't know I just rather know now and not be surprised which sucks but I wish I could g be surprised I wish I really wish I could but I can't help it I really can't but yeah I was gonna say like should I tell you what my video tomorrow is gonna be or should I let it be a surprise I don't really know I feel like I should probably let it be a surprise I don't know if I'm gonna do a voiceover for that one to be honest with you I feel like I should but at the same time, I'm not sure. 
um we shall see we shall see um i don't know it's just like sometimes i have nothing to talk about so it's like i don't need to do a voiceover if i have nothing to talk about because it's gonna be like a whole bunch of mess but for the new expansion pack i really hope there is like a secret world or or something like that basically because you know how like the realm of magic kind of has like a secret world so you can like go through a portal and it's just this whole other dimension i want something like that I want it so bad. I want like a ghost town. Like maybe a place only ghosts can live, but you can also obviously visit, but maybe it's hard to visit. Maybe you have to do something in order for yourself to go and visit your dead ancestors, I guess. Um, but yeah, that would be so nice. But yeah, we have a fire pit so you can like tell stories at this place. I don't know if I mentioned the craft table, but you can make autumn decorations or your kid can make autumn decorations. Honestly, this is like my second time doing this voiceover, so I'm honestly not sure what I said before. But also in the pictures, you won't see like the pumpkins grown because I decided to do that afterwards. I don't know why, but I do get up some beautiful string lights. I think it looks gorgeous and yeah um i don't know i love autumn at, at least the beginning of autumn i guess because i don't like it when it's too cold also i'm anemic so i'm always cold so i feel like a lot of people might understand why i hate maybe winter because i mean part of me likes it but part of me doesn't like it the reason why i like it is because is because the heat is on whereas in the summer the ac is always on like it's always on and I'm always freezing and it's like oh my goodness so it sucks you know it's pros and cons with each season um so I guess I could say I like winter just because the heat gets to be on and I don't have to freeze to death um also I don't know like I obviously I'm being a little delusional here but I feel like during the um winter I feel like my vent doesn't work I feel like I don't feel the heat but when it's cold or hot outside and the AC is on I feel like oh th look the air is on I can feel it and it's like um I don't know maybe it's just I don't know it probably works but I'm just you know I need the extra heat anyways we're putting down the fake pumpkins because I thought that would be way cuter than the dead pumpkins are not dead but unplanted ungrown but there are also when i cheated it to be grown or matured or blossom whatever all of them are like green and white there's no orange pumpkins unfortunately so that sucks and then i got a table back here to line up some carved pumpkins because i thought maybe these are the pumpkins that are i don't know maybe they won something Again, maybe they won the pumpkin carving competition. I think that could be fun and nice. Um, yeah, just some beautiful pumpkins. I was gonna do like a spooky room room build, I guess. Um, but I was like, spooky, like the spooky room stuff is weird. I, I don't know. I had a better idea instead. Um, and then I'm just getting like the string lights on the other side. Also, if I'm like talking about something while it's not happening, I do apologize because I did mess up a few times in this voiceover. So hopefully it's not too bad. Maybe hopefully it's not too off. But yeah, we should be probably adding like some terrain paint. I don't know what else I could add out here to be honest with you. Oh, I got this thingy. Don't know what it's called, but it's from Eco Lifestyle. They sell drinks and a couple of food items. One of the things I saw was like cricket something, like maybe a cricket salad. I don't know what it said. All I saw was crickets and yeah, it's nice. It's cute. Um, I added some bar stools at the end or yeah, to the side, I guess, technically. Um, so that was nice. And yeah, I had it right up against the bush so like the vendor could not get to it. And you do have to hire a vendor. I think it costs like $100 or a thousand simoleons, which is kind of insane, but I guess worth it depending on how long they will stay on the lot. Because yeah, $1,000 seems right. $100 to stay for like, I don't know, eight hours or something is insane. Um, but because like it's The Sims, but... 
yeah um i don't know i was trying to like rethink the swing set and like should i get a swing set should i put it somewhere else i wasn't really sure but i do keep it where it is and yeah we're pretty much close to the end of the video i'm just finishing up the landscaping i'll get like some dirt terrain paint and yeah because i don't know what else i would have done like maybe play around with the layout of some stuff or i guess i do delete one of those umbrella tables because i feel like it's a little too tight um but yeah also landscaping in the autumn season is very hard because like i don't expect your sims to come here during summer or anything but at the same time it's like what if it looks awful during the summer i don't know and sometimes like some of the fall plants or not that fall plants just some of the landscaping looks awful in fall and in winter of course and spring like the beginning of spring is just like yucky um anyways also can i just speak of something i haven't played my sims and bloom challenge in a while and the reason is because she has to knit but she can't resume any of her knit knitting stuff because it just when she stops she can't resume it because there's a bug in the game so if you're having the issue there is like a bug form for it so just click me too like there's 600 me too's hopefully in the next patch they'll fix it because that's like the whole that's just that's everything about nifty knitting like that's the name of the pack you're supposed to knit it's hard to knit when it's bugged so yeah i'll just not play that save until i can which is kind of sad because i downloaded some new custom content that looked like she could knit it and i wanted to give it to her but i just i can't play and she's pregnant and i want to know what the baby looks like but i can't because the game is bugged our knitting is bugged at least so it's just it sucks but we are at the end of the video so i'm gonna roll the photos oh that was so weird i forgot i was not going to give you an actual tour or i guess maybe giving you an actual tour is better i'm sorry i'm gonna hop into game and give you an actual tour okay so i wasn't planning to like do a whole voiceover i was gonna like cut away halfway through the video but then i just kept talking but here's the front of the pumpkin patch park so here you can see i ordered a vendor um and this is what the menu looks like so you can have coffee tea hot cocoa Ooh, i love hot cocoa that looks so good and then you have popcorn crickets cricket meal and beetle stir fry so only three meals so it's mostly like a drink cart i guess and then out in the front you just have kids playing hopscotch you have people swinging on the swing set you have your grill and some grilled food i think that will probably come with the gallery because i didn't delete it and then over here we just have chess tables game tables these are the bathroom they're pretty much symmetrical the same thing and then you have your pumpkin carving station unfortunately it doesn't seem people autonomously use this which is very unfortunate but we have our couple here stargazing or it's not nighttime i'm sorry cloud gazing and then you have dominic and myra moira i don't know fires and we have a craft station we have s'mores and then we have our beautiful pumpkin so these are fake you can't really put these in your inventory because they and they're fake but apparently you can turn the bigger ones to like a decor item and then you can also like sell these or harvest them could you imagine like this is like like honestly if you're doing rocks to riches this is the best place to come so you can sell like all of these pumpkins that would be cheaty but you can harvest them if you want and you can also carve a pumpkin so that is nice they have like different ones so this one is like the cat one and yeah they don't use the pumpkins to do it so that's kind of unfortunate but you can probably cook something with the pumpkins you harvest which is nice and then this is like a little overview of the park so hopefully you guys like it i'm going to upload it to my gallery so i just put harvest pumpkins enter a pumpkin carving competition and spend some time with your family and friends at the pumpkin patch park and as you can see i did not limit packs at all but honestly i've done worse i only had to click one time so that's not the worst thing in the world world um i use the bathroom clutter kit um just for the tissue so that's not really bad but if you want to download this my gallery id is just sims delicious and i'm gonna end the video right here i think this 
is a very beautiful lot to come to. But if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I love you, you are important, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!